So I'm doing my series, my MVPs of my VIPs. This is my most valuable player. This is my VIP. This is my hero product in every category. Today, our category is lipsticks. Yeah, lipsticks, well, they're actually, they're not called lipsticks anymore. They're called bullet lipsticks. Wow, did you know that? Yeah, so today, I'm gonna be showing you my heroes of my pinks, my heroes of my reds, my heroes of my nudes. Now I know you're gonna wanna know that. These are the very, very best of all the colors and I think you guys are going to love it. First of all, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm wearing. It's called Nude in Private. It is YSL. It is the best beigey pink. It is the best of the best of the nudes. I love this so much because of the way it goes on. It is super, super glossy with being a bullet lipstick and super hydrating. And it's just like that perfect pinky, beigey, mauvey. This goes on the more pinky side. I'm gonna get really, but it's so good. I'm telling you guys, I get so many compliments on it. This is a great one. The next one is Pure Zen. This is by MAC, and then this is a glossy nude. Again, it's still pink, but it tends to go a little bit more on the coral side. I'm gonna show you on my hand so you can see it. But it doesn't go on as dark as it appears. Can you guys see that? And again, it's just, it's a VIP, it's an MVP. It is a phenomenal bullet lipstick. I think you guys are gonna love it. This is really great um, if you're kind of trying to do the no makeup makeup. You're kind of trying to do the glow, but not too much. Like this is a great day one, but also can lend, if you're doing a really dark black eye, a great to really balance it. It's really beautiful, I'm telling you, MAC. So the next is a little Christian Dior. Christian Dior doesn't get enough love. This is an amazing bullet lipstick. It's called Grage, beige nude. Again, it's kind of really down the middle, but you can see it's a little darker than the MAC before. But again, really glossy. I love that these are glossy. I love that these bullet lipstick are very hydrating. They stay on, but they're really great for the lips. So this is like my neutral nude. So this is not a pink, not a beige, it's like, it's right there in the middle. I think um, for me, this is something like, I don't, it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing, it kind of just goes with everything. It's kind of really straight down the middle. Um, and it kind of gives you that pop, but it also, it doesn't give you so much of a pop that it draws you to your mouth, which I really like because I wear it on an everyday basis. It's a winner, trust me. So this is from Bite, and this is gonna be your classic nude. This is your matte nude, okay? And this is called Blondie. Other ones were glossy, this is your matte one. So you can see, I'm gonna leave them on so you can see. It's really a true, true beige, it's matte. This is an all time, you have not heard about it, it's a new brand called Bite Blondie. One of the best matte nudes out there at the moment. You will love it, I promise you. Goes with all skin tones, blondes, brunettes, olive light. It is a beautiful, beautiful beige. Can you tell why I like this Bite, um, the best nude matte? Because it's called Blondie, and Mama is a Blondie. Best nude, Bite, you're gonna love it. So my next color category for my MVPs and my VIPs are my pinks. My first one is very sentimental to, my, to myself. My makeup artist, Nikki LaRose, put this color on my mother. I had used the color and separately had bought it for myself, not thinking that my mother, my mother loves the color. But YSL Magenta, I think number 19. It might be the best hot pink of all time, okay? Of all time. It's magenta. It is the perfect purpley pink Anytime you will wear it, you will, be, you will get complimented. Whether you're a dark brunette, you are white, white striking, beautiful older woman, or whether you are a blonde, you will get so many compliments on it. I'm gonna show you the color just so you can see. It's super glossy, it's super magenta, and it's super like with nothing on, just mascara, a little bit of a highlighter, a little bit of tinted foundation, a little bit of a moisturizer, whatever. You pop the sucker on, you go from tired to pop. You go from tired to wow. You go from tired to, 
I don't need sunglasses right now, okay? Magenta, number 19, YSL. So my next one is like, it's just your perfect pink. This is just when you just wanna be pink, okay? You can also, like ha again, have it pop, but it's just like the perfect pink. It's called Hot Pink Backstage Bambi from Kat Von D. Look at this, okay? Look how gorgeous. It's like the hottest of the hottest pink, but it's like Barbie pink, okay? It's not like magenta before. It's a little matte and you can tell the difference. This is like when I wanna do a look without doing anything else, I love doing this. Like I don't even use mascara. Like just doing like something like this just makes it pop. It's not glossy, so it's not, it's gonna stand out, but it's not gonna pop like your, your magenta, your, um, your YSL number 19, the Kat Von D, this is, I don't know, it's just like that perfect matte Barbie look. And I know it sounds weird and strange, but it really does. It, again, it looks good on all colors. Like I really tried to, my MVPs have to go with different skin colors, whether you're really fair or really olive. Um, this also looks sick with a tan. Like if you get a little bit of a, can you make yourself a little bit of a glow, do a little bit of a tan sheet, or just naturally get a little vitamin D, nobody's judging you. This looks so good. I think you're gonna love it. Kat Von D, hot pink. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move to our reds. You know mama loves me some red. I love me some red just because I think it's, so chic. I just went to the Oscars and for my second look, Nikki did the most amazing red. And I don't know, it just like it just made everything pop. I was in black, which is always kind of a go-to chic, but we didn't really do anything on the eye. Um, one of my favorites, I know, I had to bring it out here, but it's an MVP of IVAP. It's Ruby Woo by Mac. Come on. I'm sorry. It's your blue red. It's your blue red. It's your blues. You know, I tend to go for more of an orangey red. I think brunettes look sick in a blue red. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it's undeniable. This is Rihanna's favorite red. Okay, when Riri says use it, just, just go with it. But honestly, I mean, I could just like keep doing this and like, it is just, I mean, look at that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you a little bit later when I have it on, but it's sick, okay? Ruby Woo. Matt, Mac. So we did your blue red, now we gotta do your orangey red. So this is in the past five, seven years, really, really making a comeback. All about your orangey reds, all about your strong corals, a little bit stronger um, mix on the, on leaning to the red side, but this is a true orangey red. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm sorry, just like, I, I like, I got excited just like going like this. Like, I'm sorry. Look how beautiful that is. NARS, okay. NARS Lana, okay? The best orangey red out there. 2018, spring, oh, come on, just wait for it. Now that is a gorgeous orangey red. Beautiful, it's got a little bit of a gloss. I'm gonna show you just so you guys can see it on my hand. The difference between an orangey red and a blue red. But I am, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I absolutely love Love an orangey red. I don't know, it, it tends to go a little cooler on me. I, little, I look a little fresher. If I wanna be a little bit more serious, I, I normally go for a blue red. I'm starting to do more orangey red on my feet, um, but I love this. NARS, this is the best orange red, Lana. Come on, Lana. I love me some Lana. Nude in private, it is YSL. Pure Zen, this is by MAC. Rage, Christian Dior, Blondie from Bite, number 19, YSL, Backstage Bambi, Kat Von D, Ruby Woo by Mac. So that is my MVPs of my VIPs. I'm gonna finish with NARS, Lana, the best of the best. Um, bullet lipsticks, I love this orange red. Give mama some love, comment below, give me some thumbs up for the channel, let me know what your favorite bullet lipsticks are. Um, and I feel like I, I need to go somewhere because I'm all dressed up and I got nowhere to go. Bye you guys.